saying that the United States is still an experiment in freedom. Former Democratic U.S. Representative Harold Ford Jr. told the Grand Rapids Economic Club that voters have to ask the right question and participate for better outcomes. Political reporter Rick Albin hosted the conversation with the former congressman. Joins us now. Rick? Soon Brian Ford, who served from 97 to 2007, said Republicans and Democrats are both contributing to the dysfunction in Washington on everything from the budget to the debt to funding for Israel and Ukraine. Ford, like his father before him, represented Memphis, Tennessee in Washington and told the large crowd that the luncheon, at the luncheon meeting that Congress needs to do better on the basics and they need to come to the table and find meaningful solutions. He also told those attending that government plays a vital role by doing things that we as individuals can't, like defense and education. But it's up to us as voters to make better choices, too. When asked about that government, Ford Jr. had a strong statement. But I would warn heavily against the idea that we don't need government, uh, or government can be sidelined uh, in these efforts. They're the biggest company and the most important company in the world, largely because the primary responsibility of the President of the United States is to be Commander-in-Chief uh, of the most important, um, the most successful military that the, the, world, the world has ever seen. Furthermore, we're about to celebrate 250 years of our country. Um, and our country, I remind everybody, is nothing more than a little old experiment that got really big called freedom. And we tried our hardest to lose it. And we've done a lot to hold on to it. And we should be very clear, without a functioning, vibrant, ethical, full of integrity, hardworking, and brave government, the experiment will go bye-bye. So I think we need government strong and we need our private sector strong. Since leaving office, Ford has been employed in the financial sector and also makes frequent appearances on political news programs and currently is a rotating anchor on Fox News, The Five. Sue?